and welcome to some more Star Citizen news patch. 3.1.2 is now live with more accessibility to missions, persistent bird logging and crash reconnecting, as well as some performance and stability improvements. Links to the patch notes and info to everything else in the description and comments below. Please also check out my performance and setup guide. You will get a much better experience out of Star Citizen for doing that. There is also a free flight try the game for free event on at the moment. You need to create a Star Citizen account if you haven't already. You can do this via boardgamer.co.uk forward slash enlist. You automatically get an extra 5,000 UEC of the in-game currency to use later for doing that. Then go to robertspaceindustries.com forward slash promotions, April free fly event. I'll put all the links below anyway. And then input the code get into the verse all in caps no spaces at the bottom of the page this will give anyone access to star citizen 3.1.2 the persistent universe arena commander star marine until the 16th of april as well as access to the aurora mr cutlass black mustang alpha and tumble cyclone for that period and that's available to anyone that puts in that code as i said even if you already have an account even if you already have a game package whatever i'll link an article with all of that info so you can copy and paste if needed down below during this time too a selection of starter game packages are discounted as well as the new 100 series starter line being on concept sale if you are going to purchase a starter pack i very much recommend the mustang alpha during the sale it is 35 dollars and it's going to be a fast agile starter ship with four size one weapon hard points it's a great ship it's going to be good. It's uh, getting a rework as well at the moment. So you've got the old version, but it's getting some little improvements. It's going to look a lot better once that rework is done for 3.2 in June. The sneak peek in the newsletter was a bomber jacket for a clothing line, which you'll see a lot more clothes in coming patches as well. And it's pretty high fidelity. The stuff looks pretty, pretty solid. Some roadmap updates. The 3.2 alpha patch hasn't seen much change. The RSI Odyssey flight suit rework has been pushed to 3.2. I suspect it's because they're going to be so iconic in Star Citizen, that Odyssey flight suit. It's like the default flight suit you start with, and they really want it to shine. The armors for the Legacy Marine and Outlaw have been separated into light, medium, and heavy and have their own entries. Wear and tear has been absorbed into the item 2.0 editions that are also coming with 3.2. Uh, 3.2 is going to be released at the end of June. 3.3 uh, is going to be released at the end of September. So 3.3 has seen a lot of work done to Hurston. This is the first full planet we will see in game. Comma array revisions have also been removed from the 3.3 patch. This might have been absorbed into another feature or might just be delayed. There's a new Castec Arms Assault Rifle, the Karna, in that patch. There's also now a revision for the Joker Sucker Punch Cannons. 3.4 has had the Cargo Depot removed uh, as a location uh, in this patch. Again, this might have been subsumed into another feature or delayed, but there's some new and revised weapons. A Castec Arms a Ravager, 212 Twin, a Shotgun, and the Gemini S7 an assault rifle. There's also a rework of the GT870 Tarantula and Sawbuck Repeater. PrisonCon is next week on the 21st of April up by Manchester Airport. If you are around and available, please grab a ticket and come down. It will be awesome. I need to pack for that. There's going to be Aaron Roberts. There's going to be Brian Chambers. There's going to be loads of Star Citizen devs. There's going to be loads of fans and streamers. And there's going to be an action-packed weekend. Um, so please check that out. JRF Design and Fabrication appear to be the first company that's got to make um, Star Citizen game branded items. They are expensive but very cool props and they have real function and use. They've made the real life versions of the 1 8 scale Saber Raven, the desks for Gamescom 2017. Uh, they also made the clothing flight suit changing wardrobe and the crates that we hoped Chris Roberts might jump out of at Citizen Gone. They've made some really cool props and there's a cool selection of products on their website but and you can also request custom orders. I have to work out what hangar flare and ships and things I want around my house now. Uh, check them out at www.jrfabrication.co.uk for some more information. Every month we have a giveaway for Star Citizen. For this April, it's a massive salvage ship, the Aegis Reclaimer, provided by our featured app, MyRadar. MyRadar is a free weather app that also includes full-scale maps of the three moons of Crusader, including Yella, Selen, and Daemar. Users can scroll around the interactive maps and zoom in to the landscape to see the geography of those moons. My radar is available in the US, Europe, Japan, South Korea, and coming this summer to Australia. It is a real-life weather app as well, so you can 
can see the weather in your general area and in those countries too. It's available on iOS, Android and Windows. Please check it out in the links below if you are interested. But to be in for a chance of that reclaimer, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my videos throughout April. Each video gives you another chance to win. Do you have any questions about Star Citizen, its development, gameplay mechanics, suggestions for videos, whatever, chuck them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. A special thank you to my Patreons for allowing me to create the amount of content I do. Ugh! If you're interested in becoming one of them, please find the links to Patreon as well as everything else we discussed down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help me and I'll see you in the verse.